I feel it. Be better than you. Well, somebody just said in the last stream, Shani's already sexy. That's right. I don't feel sexy. I know you don't. Yeah, it's because you feel sick all the time. But you are still pretty. Oh, what is she doing? Why uh, does she... She always acts up at night. It's her deal. I don't know. Gavin's even was alerted. Mm -hmm. Thank you for our mouths not feeling dehydrated. That's correct. Do you want to be on camera? No, I'm all right. Okay. Both of us don't want to be on camera. <laughs> I mean, you could just put it in between the two, like, like on both of us and just uh, like in between or whatever. In, in, in between. Well, however you want to do it, it's fine. I don't care. Uh, wait. wait a minute. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and I want you to know that the cigarette deal, a lot of times I have a buddy here that knows the times we're in, and it's rough, and he gives me cigarettes, man. Nice old guy with a beautiful dog named Penny. <laughs> That's so sweet. He's such a nice man. He's a widower. He worked for uh, Home Depot for like 15 fucking years doing carts. And now he's like, yeah, you need cigarettes? Come to me. They're nice, too. Oh, yeah, the ones he gives us are real nice. But thank you for the help Ugh. because we no longer feel like we're dehydrated. Oh, my God, that's so weird. What is with the water here? I don't know. The water's really strange, though. That's for damn sure. It's like, I don't, I've smoked a lot of weed in my life, and I don't even know a weed strain that does that, that gives you that type of dry mouth. No, yeah. It's very fucking... It's almost like, impossible to live with. It really is... It agitates you to the point where it's almost hard to exist. Don't drink the tap water. No. We're gonna get it. We're we're gonna get like you need Fiji water. Uh. Fiji water. That's my favorite bottled water. Fiji. Uh, yeah. I, well, that's expensive. I say, you know, just regular freaking water would just be fine. Yeah. I I, I like Arrowhead. Arrowhead's good. You know, I like Deer Park. Deer Park's nice. They're pretty. That's pretty good. Nestle water's horrible. Oh, it's so horrible! And Nestle is stealing water from Lake Superior, and really weird things are happening to Superior because that's of messed. it. Yeah. Do you wish Bernie Sanders was president right now? Yes. Uh, I'd say try it. Yeah. What's your favorite strain? Alpha Blue. The, number one? Yeah. Number one. Alpha Blue. Okay. But, but, I will always love a good haze. Ghost Train Haze is the shit. Uh, green Crack is always good. Jack Harrer is awesome. Man. Jack Harrer is the bomb. Maui Wowie is always a treat. Now, my favorite will always be Granddaddy Purple. That gets me where I need to be, is Granddaddy Purple. Those exclusive joints, for, oh my God. I had two or three of them done, <laughs> done, baked, happy, baked and happy. The exclusive Granddaddy Purps, ah. Oh. Ever try Pineapple Express? Of course. Mm, hard to go on. It's very sweet tasting. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a but, sativa. 
Yeah, that's see, the deal. See, see, I'm a hybrid girl. He's an indica. He he likes indicas. Yeah, I like hybrids. Yeah, I could do uh, hybrid. Yeah, I can do hybrid. I can't do sativa. It's no, sativa ain't good for me. Yeah, wedding cake is awesome too. I so think, it's nice. I think that's what my buddy. It's gave nice, mild. When I first tried weed, I think that's what my buddy gave me. He gave me a heavy sativa. So it felt like I was literally on speed. And that's not, no. <laughs> Hell no. That's bad. Your mind is going to different planes of existence and you can't handle it. And man. I hear the cops coming and everything, no. I heard Dude. sirens immediately. I'm like, that's it, they know. I used to like, sit down. Just let it ride. Just sit, just sit down for a second. I could see that it, that hit you really. He laughed when I took the hit because the hit was. I took a fucking huge hit. <laughs> he went, "Oh my god, okay. Well, you know how to hit that, right?" <laughs> like, yeah, I think I had the idea of how to do it. So, and I immediately, my heart went from sixty beats to about a hundred. And I started shaking like fucking mad. And I said, he said, he said, oh man, okay, it's hitting you right now. You got to sit down. Sour, sour diesel's good shit too. Sour diesel. Yeah. Yeah. That's some good shit. I've had, a, I, I, I told you I've had a lot. Do you want me to get our weed list out of my Bible? No, nah, that's okay. We got a weed list. We do. Of, it's in my Bible. Of our best weeds we've had, that we smoked. Fucking nuts. Rev, you should see if you could work at cannabis growth facility in PA. That absolutely. That's that's you need you need certifications for this shit. Which you can get. Yeah. I, that would be a dream job. Like I've been at I, that's one of the places I've been asking all around here. Smoke shops. Like hire me, man. Vape shops. I've been trying to get jobs at vape shops. They all hire their own people though. They, they're all owned by Arabs or Indians. And they hire their own. They don't hire, like, some white dude. They don't do it. They hire their own people, which I understand. That's fine. But just give me a bone, man. No, you don't. Know, I work at one in MD. No degree or anything. Okay. All right. I don't know. I I hear you need badges and shit to get into those type of places, so. I don't know. I, yeah, I'll ask. At, there's a couple dispensaries near us, not many. Like, one. I know of one, actually. There's two. I, I only know of one that's in Dixon. There's two. What do they call it? Like, botanical justice or something? Something like that. <laughs> Some cannabis justice? It's for medical. Mm-hmm. You have to have a med card to get in there. What is your dream de job? I don't even know. I really, I think a zookeeper though. Cat sanctuary. I think I'd be happy forever <laughs> if, if, as a zookeeper. Cat sanctuary. Animals are awesome. And they're fun. They are. I love my babies. And they don't judge you, you know? Yeah, they don't judge you. And they comfort you when you cry. That's right. That's accurate. They are by far the best in the world is animals. Humans, man... I wish they learned that no judging thing and just let people just Yeah, hey, right. Good luck with that shit. I know, right? Not judgment is always going to be there with fucking humans. And that sucks, too. <clears throat> Don't what you doing? I'm just putting my... I'm just a little chilly. See, I told you it was cold in here. I'm trying to save money, honey. I know. I'm always conscious of that. I know. You don't want to be that shit stain. That's Watermelon is strutting behind you. 
What's your deal? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> She's always got some kind of friggin' deal constantly. She's up to something. It can never be just peaceful and whatever. It's got to be. It's got to be. She has a deal. And then she's going to rub her face on something for 10 hours and then eat her crotch for another 10 hours <clears throat> and then nap. And then when we're sleeping, she decides to go ninja and break something. Cat sanctuary. I mean, yeah. That's my dream job. You love cats more than anything ever. That's true. So that's it. They're my people. So I would want to own a cat sanctuary. Well, like, I mean, I, I do think the dream job, if you really want the dream dream, is a successful streamer. I don't think you can get a better career than that because you, once you're successful, like somebody like, like Hassan Abi, I'd say, like he's successful at it, uh, you're retired quick and, and you just do it because you like it. That's like, like Hassan, it doesn't matter how much money he ends up making because he actually enjoys doing it. So like the real, real dream, I think is a streamer if you're into it, because I like doing live stream stuff. I, that's fun as shit. Like reviewing videos or talking about the news or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, successful streamer, that's it. Because you could, once you're successful, your stuff, re revenue generates every month anyway. So you might not even have, you do one live stream every week. And you have more money than you don't know what to do with. Because it's it's just that if your numbers are the level of somebody like Hassan, uh, that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Being a streamer seems stressful to me. I'd prefer something that uh, 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 doesn't always have you under a magnifying glass. You feel, yeah, that's true. But if you ignore the weirdness for the most part, it's fine. You know? You have to learn to not listen to certain voices, the ones that are there just to literally make your day bad. If you focus on that, your life will be hell. And you'll also get baited into doing bad stuff and saying bad stuff, and then you're canceled. Okay? It's not easy being a streamer in that sense. Mm -mm. It's not easy. Mm -mm. But... If you're the type of person that's motivated and you know that, okay, I'm good at this, I can do it. And you can focus on the headlines and talking about the issue and not yourself and not all of this other noise, then you're going to be good. Hassan had in roses. Not, yeah, sink is, uh, yeah. That's true. Yeah, it's not a, I, you wouldn't say it's all on his own merit, but he's so good looking that women would want to watch him anyway. Like, he's very handsome, so. It wouldn't matter, I think. If I think Jenk was his, his intellect is more attractive. Well, whatever. He's just objectively good looking. Fair. It's just, it's a good constitution to be a street. Yeah. It's not easy. No way. Uh, uh It's not easy it, but in in this sense, but if you love it so much, uh, and it's something that you're really passionate about getting your voice out and like because you think you got some good fucking ideas, uh, it's not even work. Yeah. I didn't consider when I was doing a radio show that wasn't work to me at all. It was awesome. It was you know what just... my problem is now with live streaming? Huh? My the drugs. That I'm under, yeah, kicking in, yeah, and I'm not very functional, and I zone out. Energy, and, energy, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, like it, like the gabapentin really kicked in right now, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I feel you. Like I'm in another, 
I want some heavy stuff to try for pain and um, yeah, neurological you shit. To, you wouldn't be able to move at all if you didn't have the meds you have. That's true. You wouldn't. You'd be bed bound. Yeah. I think that's accurate. So, the meds are what's at least keeping you not bed bound. <laughs> yes, but yet it takes away from my mental abilities. Yeah. So. Which is just a consequence of being sick. Yeah. That's it's not true. your fault. It's just what it is. It's. You know, have you guys considered voting for RFK Jr.? Holy Lord. No. Um, wow. Pedophile. Whoa. He took way too many trips on Epstein Island, if you know what I mean. I don't. That's um, a no for me. I pass on that one. Boy. I, I think my best route on that one is just not to comment at all. I honestly don't have any opinion on RFK Jr. So, that's my answer. If he were on a ballot, uh, I wouldn't vote for him. If that's what you want, yeah, that's what you want to know. I wouldn't vote for him, no. Uh, I'd vote for Bernie. I could say confidently I would vote for Bernie. I could say confidently I would vote for uh, Cenk Uger, who is running in 2024. And if I went to the polls, I would vote for Cenk Uger, to be honest. Because he's honest. He, like, knows some shit. And uh, I think he could maybe get something done. Maybe. You know who wasn't on Epstein Island? Joe Biden. Right. And, and you know, I, 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 I apologize in my own mind to Joe Biden and, and I'll say it, you know, cause those pictures of him with kids and sniffing hair was real weird. Yeah, that is too. It's really bizarre. But the fact is, is he's just a handsy guy. He, he, he loves on people. He, I don't believe he's a pervert. If it came out that Joe Biden's a pervert, I would be really shocked. Like that would really legitimately shock me. But they have those weird videos of Joe, like, sniffing little girl's hair and stuff. And that is weird. That's... It is. It's weird, but I don't think he's one of them. I don't think he's Trump. Trump is okay with Ivana, Ivanka. He'll grab you by the pussy. He's at a party, right? There's, pic there's video, there's pictures of... He's at a party, and Ivanka's there with him. His daughter... Who at the time, uh, like Playboy, his daughter's like thirteen or fourteen at Playboy Mansion. Was that Playboy Mansion? Okay. Yes. It. You can look this up. She is grinding on his penis. Okay. This guy just put his name on a Bible. Okay. And then you'll say, "Oh, what about Lot's daughters and Lot?" Well, that's a unique situation. Okay. Abraham said, go that way, and he went this way, and Lot's like, I'm going to lose everything. Like, we're in, he needed offspring, so he fucked his daughters, it's whatever. But this is insanity, okay? This is Roman. This is Roman shit. His daughter is grinding on his penis. Now you say, well, what the hell's wrong with Ivanka? Yeah, what's wrong with Ivanka? It's like she was probably groomed. This is like Christian. He always like, referenced her in a sexual manner. Is that how you're supposed to treat your daughter? They were, to sexualize your own child? We're Christians. How you look at that behavior and you're just like, oh, okay. How do you have the stomach to sexualize your own child is the question. Well, there's that. I mean, that it's just an abnormal fucking anomaly to me like I look at my sons and I don't I don't I, I uh, yeah that no yeah I'm feeling this you know you say I'm on fire thank you I mean it's yeah I, I yeah you're gonna vote for Biden again and I think yeah that's right and I think that's the appropriate thing to do 
if you have to pick one of them, Biden is the winner. Yeah, he's the winner. Uh, clear. By his character, just his character. Like this is this is like a test on people's morality. Are you gonna give this self, you know, a billionaire who does weird things with his daughter? Why has committed fraud all over the place? Is indicted all over the country. He's been accused by 24 different women. Found guilty of sexual assault on women. You can't. In two you know, countries. Really? England and in America. They settled in England. Yeah. You can't in good conscience put, pull a lever for that. Insurrection. There's that one, too. Yeah. I I mean, I... Anyway. I Like, it's just like, does moral character count anymore for a political person? I mean, I would, I would want moral integrity and, and goodness and wholesomeness out of someone, not, not someone who calls everyone that used to follow him horrible names. <laughs> like, he always says he's a good judge of character, but yet these people are apparently backstabbing him and stuff. Yeah. No, they're going to the press and being like, listen, this guy is bad. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a dictator, and people are like, yeah, I, I, I want a dictator. I'll take a dictator for four years instead of Joe Biden. Yeah, your voter registration should be shredded. Like, this country isn't a dictatorship. And then and then you have the gall to say <laughs> you're a patriot. Okay. Yeah, you're a patriot that wants a dictator. That doesn't exist. Okay, that's not a patriot. Trump put himself on the Bible, but Biden is the only one who goes to church. That's true. Yeah. He, Joe actually goes to church. I'm surprised Vivek didn't go further in the GOP. He should have because he's got all of the tickers, but he's not white guy. He's an Indian. So that's yeah, they're racist, so they're not going to want yeah, you. They are. I think politics is too difficult to gain traction on social media. You need a backer who can get you through a startup cost. Production value has to be the top. Yeah. Politics is all, it's, that's another, it's just another industry. I mean, it's a fucking, it's another scheme, capitalist scheme to destroy people. Oh my God, I sound like a fucking communist revolutionary. <laughs> I'll have to start wearing Shea Rivera fucking shirts. I'm just, I, I am non-affiliated. I just think people need to start working together. And I don't care what you call it, communism, I don't know, socialism, I don't care. As long as your fellow man is taken care of and... <sighs> it's very hard anymore for me to even recognize uh, myself because with losing everything shows you things. And if I thought it was okay... The position I was in, and and by no merit of my own, it was inheritance, and and then you see everybody else the way they must live, which is wage slaves. There's no way that this economic system is the best for the country. There's no way. There no. should be an allocation of money to help people. Social programs. That's something that should be. And if you just disagree with that, then you got a problem with your humanity. Okay, and everything isn't the size of your fucking bank account. That is not everything. Is it nice to have money? Sure. And everybody, yeah. it's. Good I know this kind of sounds like 1984, but what about if we had designated housing and people uh, have a house for the rest of their life? Hey, see? Yeah, and then there's no inheritance, basically, in that situation. And it just gets handed off to the next person in need when you die. 
That doesn't sound too bad. No. That's like highly communist. Like, hey, know, we're right? going to assign you. This is where your dwelling is. That's extremely fucking communist authoritarian. You know? like It is, but no, it would solve the homeless situation. It, it would help it tremendously. We don't build public housing anymore because it became racist stuff. Like Trump. Trump got involved in public housing. You know what he did? They had things all over the walls. No Negroes. Are you serious? They got sued. And that was it. Donnie was done with public housing. I wonder why. You're a racist, Don. Okay? <laughs> Holy shit. This is a little too ethnic for me. This was like the 1970s and he had signs, no Negroes. Are you kidding me? It's insane. That's insane. Our niche topic, it's like politics and everything. Just God, the Bible, heaven and hell, the devil. I'd rather be more socialist policy. Okay, yeah, communism... Communism is will only work with God at the head, okay? That's why I would call myself, uh, I should call myself a monarchist communist because I'm waiting for the, the leadership of Jesus Christ. So that would be a monarchy, okay? It is because he's the king. Uh, his communism will be good. That's true. He will heal the nations. Christ. But it's going to take Christ. That's why it's real to me. Okay? The thousand year reign, the kingdom, it's physical. It's not fulfilled. People want to say it's the friggin' Catholic Church. Absolutely not. All right? That, that's about, guy, oh God, the amount of murder and death put out by the Vatican. And you try to tell me that that's Jesus Christ's actual church? You're full of shit. I'm sorry. The Vatican is geopolitical power, okay? And while the Pope is doing really nice things right now, washing women's prisoners' feet, and that's beautiful, okay? But 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 they're but, all crying, and it was just so sweet. It's very sweet, but there's no way that that was Christ's kingdom on earth. No, there's it's not, okay? So there's a literal thousand year reign of Christ, and that's what I attain for. That's what I'm waiting for. And communism in that sense will work because Christ heads it. And he will heal the nations, not make them decrepit like the friggin' devil that's had a hold of this whole system. Because men are men love darkness rather than light. They want it, they want to rape, they want to rape. Guys want to rape, they want to take it. You know what I mean? It's like they get the in the position of power. It's Rudy Giuliani, man. Giuliani was a good man. There's no doubt Giuliani was a good man. And then he started attaining. He wanted to attain the same type of attitude and adoration as Donald Trump. So he started acting like Trump. Well, you want that? You take it. Now he's accused of sex assault and abuse. See? You are the company you keep at the end of the day. He admired Donald Trump's air about him when he's just slathered in fake makeup and he smells like ass like what the hell like like he's an old man shit in his pants now donald trump is a tough man a tough man wears makeup yeah and diapers like that's not ageist or nothing i'm just saying he wants to be a macho man and and, and really like try to put that air off of this alpha and he shits his pants a real man respects the women thank you yeah that's a hundred percent you disagree. I think the human nature is generally to be good. It's bad people have built up power structures for generations. Well, power has a tendency to really fuck you in terms of your ethics. And there's no arguing with that, okay? That's just proven by history. Despots are born because they get God complexes. The Saddam Hussein type, okay? No good. Cult of personality. They worship their own ego. Uh, you, uh, with an individual like that, they should never be in leadership. 
And it's proven time and time again. It's Stalin, it's Mao. Good leaders it, experience ego death. Yes. The best Jesus. Yes. He sacrificed all of the treasures of being the son of God so that you could have salvation. And that's it. Okay? That's a true leader. The servant is the leader. It's servant kings. That's what, in the kingdom of God, we are priests and kings and queens under Christ. And that's the priesthood, man. Amen. But it is geopolitical at that point because he's the king and he's on earth. And it's worth you must worship him because he is worthy of it. Amen. It's it, regardless if you if you don't want to, then he ain't getting your reign, which is very Old Testament law type stuff. But it's real, and you'll find out when the king's on the throne in Jerusalem. Yeah. It's going to happen. Jesus doesn't cheat. He doesn't lie. He will be benevolent fully. You know, and that's he the tells only... you the truth. Compared to Trump, who cheats at golf games to win oh. his own tournaments that he made. My God. That's embarrassing. How could you support a guy still that you know does that? And he congratulates himself for winning the tournament he cheated at. Oh, my God. Like, th that is not alpha, guys. That's not alpha. If you are into alpha, do you know who alpha males are? Can Assholes. No. Stop that. That's really unkind. Well, Not how, all of them are like that. Dude, they all but, abuse women. Okay. But a true alpha is a fucking construction worker. Okay? They put that air off of I do physical labor. That, she, that's an alpha. Yeah. That's, that's an alpha. That's a true alpha. Yes. That's an alpha. You smell the air and it's the smell of male sweat. Not a self-described alpha. No. Like Mike Rowe. He's an alpha. He's an male. alpha, definitely. Yeah. He didn't have to do all that fucking garbage. I mean, Mike Rowe is so talented. He's got an amazing voice. He he was an opera singer. Yeah, he's awesome. He he he's his his speaking voice is amazing. His intellect is amazing. I wish he would stop talking to these weird conservative people. But he's like a, he did an interview with conservative. Tucker. I know. He's a conservative. I know, but he's going on Tucker and shit, and it's like, dude, please. That's his place. Mike, man. Like, you can't. Stop. You yeah. know, I don't know. But, 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 society is so fucked. Like, these things even, these structures of thinking, oh, alpha male and a beta male and a sigma male and a smegma male. <laughs> Sorry, I added that one. Ew. This, is, this is stupid. You know he's going to be smelling like Cheetos and Mountain Dew and farts. This shit is dumb. Sweat that That's yo. my problem with it. Why We're going to categorize. And then you have guys that are so backward now, like the incel community. They're so backward. Oh, they're so horrible to women. That they're not. But that's, Jesus. I mean, it. it, it Literally, I could have fell, fallen into one of those categories. He really, but like the no, these incels really think women are vapish. They they have no mind of their own, and they just think about consuming their own whatever. It's just it's it's gross how they describe women. I one hundred percent. I'm going to tell you to the incel community: you just need to learn how to talk. To a girl, and not lose your shit. They yeah. let, girls love it when you just listen to them. Like they they go because they all got problems of some kind. Maybe not assume that the woman's role is to make you babies and food. I, well, this is so twisted, and that's this red pill alt right shit. That's so fucking toxic and dog shit. You guys are all just closeted homosexuals that are the heads of that movement. Or your sex assaulters, you know, just the woman's a whole and that's it. Mike was talking positive about RFK Jr. recently. Was he? Oh, Lord. I Jesus. don't know. I support him saying vaccines are dog shit because, yeah, okay, you're, I'm going to agree with him. But the rest, I don't know, dude. 
I don't know enough about his views. I would have to, I would have to see an interview with him extensively discussing issues and what he th- is. He a communist? Is he a socialist? I don't know. I don't know if well, enough. he's definitely not like his father. No, he ain't Bobby. No. There's no way he's Bobby. No, Bobby would be like, what are you doing? Bobby was going to be president. And they... It's because he was so good with race relations. And then they were afraid that John the... F. Kennedy Jr. was going to start running for stuff and well, his plane well, the goes government into has the water. To fear the people who talk together. I mean, God forbid black people and white people talk to each other. So, <laughs> what in the name of Jesus you know, is this shit? <sighs> Don't listen to racists ever. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, Trump hit it really well, though. <laughs> Trump hit his racism completely. Almost. Because I saw the, through it. The way he speaks is very coded. It's underneath. He shoves stuff underneath the door. He's very underhanded fucker. That's because he's deceptive. He's, he's a deceitful. Mason. He's a liar. Mason. It's gross. Like, ugh. Friggin' Masonic Bible. I might want to get my hands on one of them someday. Uh, Mastership of the craft in the beginning of the Bible? What is that stuff? Yeah, that seems interesting. That seems interesting. I wonder what they say. I already know most. I I read most of Albert Pike's Morals and Dogma. So I God, you were struggling reading that the whole time. I remember when you were reading that. It's, well, it's a spiritual book, man. It is spiritual book. What does that say? Huh? I can't read. They're talking to you. Watermelon. She's got to be right underneath my feet. Has your thirst been quenched? Oh, my God. Yes. Do I make music? I, I used to make, like, I used to. I'll leave it at that. I certainly love hearing him on the piano. <laughs> Whatever. It's, I don't do nothing with the piano. You're honey. really just, good at it. I just screw around with it. I've yeah, always but just, you, can make, you can make beautiful music by just screwing around on it. That's impressive. I was pretty impressed with myself that I did the Revelation News theme on the piano. I was able to do that by ear. That was pretty good. Because it's exactly what I heard. That piano tune is exactly what I heard. Be the piano man. Make America gangster again. <laughs> yeah, I used to... I, I took lessons and everything when I was young, and then my dad died and I quit. Because it reminded me of him too much. No, I don't have a piano here. We had, we had, we had a keyboard, but that's gone, just like everything else. I have an SNES. I'm happy about that. God giveth and he takes away. Mm -hmm. Cigarettes and coffee, and this is a happy boy, pretty much. I could say that. Focus on making music. This sounds great. Well, if I were to focus on anything creative in that way, it would probably be writing again because I think I got some good ideas for screenplays for Netflix and shit like that. I'd be doing that. Uh, I'm way better at writing a screenplay than a novel. I can tell you that. I'm way better at that. That's what I was writing it as. Is for, uh, the, the book I wrote was originally like in screenplay type format. And I was writing screenplays. I didn't even really realize it. So that's where my real talent is, is screenwriting. I think I could do some really awesome you screenwriting. You should finish your screenwriting. Yeah, I have or two more. Dope. Yeah, I have two more parts to write for that. Yep. I have to read the stories over again and everything. <laughs> 
I know the general gist. They've been living on Tento for a couple hundred years, and the people get pissed. <laughs> That's true. And their leadership is dog shit. The Senate is chaos, piece of shit Senate, and they hate them. And there's a rebel group, and they're like, fuck you guys, we're done. We're going to live free. That's what the last two parts are. And then the ending is, well, I don't know, whatever. Sorry, I'm not talkative right now. It's really kicking into me. That's fine. Yeah. I had definitely seen my screenplays being on, like, a Netflix series. Definitely. Like, a four-part movie series. It's about four movies. Uh, not long movies, though. They would be shorter movies. Like, yeah. Like, fucking 60-minute movies, man. Boom, boom, boom. One hour a piece. But that's like a mini series, you know? It's like it's like a uh, HBO original series. That's what the, the producer guy in California that I was talking to that was going to take my screenplays and try and sell them. He said, your best bet would probably be HBO. When's my next doctor's appointment? Because they love this type of stuff. What? When's my next doctor's appointment? Early April. Oh, Early April. Okay. I'm not sure the exact date. Shit. Do you write while you... Do music while you, while you still have your hair? Yeah, I know. That's right. I, I hear you on that one. I was thinking about, like, it's a good... I, I should try and find a fucking band because... We could be in like a '90s cover band, man. If we're doing metal shit, like I know, I know almost Stain's entire catalog to sing. Nine Inch Nails, pretty much their entire catalog, I could sing it. Uh, Typo Negative, the majority of their catalog, I could sing it. Uh, I was actually thinking about that. It's a good idea. System of the Down. Ah, uh, I can pull off some of it. Some of it. Surge is fucking insane. His voice is so incredible. La, 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 la. I could do Disturbed. I, I could I could definitely cover most of their shit. David Draymond. Alice in Chains, I could pull some of them off. Like the Rooster, I could do I could sing the Rooster pretty well. Oh yeah. Fucking nineties cover band. You know, thank you. Ain't gonna die. Thank you, Damon. April is already next week. I know, that's right. It's close. Please do original music. That see, well that's I mean that's talent. Like I'm not Aaron Lewis. I'm not Corey Taylor. I can do music. Uh, yeah, you you're I, the one for that. I, I can invent tunes. I'd be more so having Shanny be the everything she'd be the voice the music shit we would come up with a way to get that done and i would produce the stuff because i could do audio production i i I had experience with that so because i was in radio and i was cutting my own commercial type deal no there was no commercials but it was like you know promotions for other people's shit and i was cutting that myself so i could do audio production stuff but yeah it's funny you bring that up getting a band New music. I I don't know. It might be. It might be my thing. I don't know. Hmm. A metal guy that plays piano, that'd be pretty good, though. A fucking meatloaf coming out. No, who is it? I mean, who? piano dudes. Ellen John. Queen? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, Freddie Mercury. Yeah. That'd be cool. I got my tattoos and shit. You know who does metal really good hmm. in their own way? Hmm. Two cellos. Yeah, you're into that shit. You're into that big, big time, the cello shit. Oh, I love, oh, I love the cello. That's my favorite instrument. Hi, watermelon baby girls. How much are we begging for tonight? Hey, if you want to donate something, you can if you want to. 
I wouldn't mind a pizza, bro. Yeah, Shani's been craving some food. So if you want to give to the PayPal or whatever you can. Some bean burritos from Taco Bell. There's that also. Make me a fat girl. I'll, I, I promise. I, I, I don't know. I'm out of it tonight. I, I was I'm actually, girl, I, I could tell you this, man. I actually was, this is the first time in my life I ever did this, but I was actually writing a song here. I I had ideas for the opening lines, the but it's like, uh, blind my eyes from the hurt and the hatred, blind my eyes from all of the fear, blind my eyes from the turmoil and the torment. Jesus, my savior, cleanse all my, cl cleanse all from my blood. So it's like, it's like a, it would be sung metal. But you know what? There's already a really talented guy that's doing this type of music, and it's Head, the guy from Korn. He does his Brian own. Brian Welsh. Brian Welsh. He does his own shit, and it's really good. If you want Christian metal, go, go for that. Corpus Christi is a pretty good band, too. Write a country song. That's, I mean, that's, okay. My dog, he died, and I went to go and eat a pie. I was so sad, my dog had died. All right, that's just going to be a hateful individual, so we're done with that. You no know, hate. We're not doing it. See, I see it, and it's bye-bye. You're just going to be an ass, so. I'm done with that shit. I'm not doing it to myself. Ha, <laughs> you got the block hammer from the Jason. Ooh. No, I just see that and it's gone. You're, I'm not doing <laughs> it. Ha, ha. Don't do metal, do country. You'd have, the, I have the look for country. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to have tattoos at some point, so. Metal's my thing, man. I don't like country. I like metal. I like Seven Dust. I like Stained. That's like... <sighs> Nine Inch Nails was my number one favorite band of all time, but like they just, they fell off the radar for me somewhat because I like Industrial a lot. I like, I like Skinny Puppy. I like, um, you know, uh, Pit Shifter. Uh, I like industrial shit. I like Ramstein. They're in that category, industrial metal. Uh, country is just... Nah. <laughs> Tim McGraw's got a good voice and everything. He's cool. Uh, Garth Brooks is fine. You know, but I... No, nah, I wouldn't be singing country, man. Sorry. No, I'd be singing some metal shit, definitely, if I'm doing anything. I'm starting to get pretty familiar with most of Linkin Park's catalog, so I could sing most of that shit, Chester's stuff. I could do that. <laughs> I could handle Chester. You can't scream like Chester, bro. Not scream. No. He, nah, that, you can't do that, dude. He had a unique scream. Very unique. That's like asking somebody to do, uh, like Pavarotti. Like, you can't mimic that. You can try to mimic it the best you can. Like Mike Rowe, you know, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. But he ain't Pavarotti. Once the people are gone, that's it. Like, they were that they were a unique flavor of what they did, and they're gone. Like Lane Staley from Alice in Change. He'll never replace Lane. Michael Jackson. <laughs> exactly. Lots of people can sound like Michael. Yeah, a little bit, but it ain't Michael. And you know it's not Michael. AI is pretty amazing, and it's getting better. That is just mimic shit. 
I swear to God, I heard this clip of Trump that Shady was playing, and, and Trump was saying, hey, you stupid motherfucker. And I was like, because the pauses and the cadence was perfect, almost. You stupid motherfucker, Joe Biden. It, it sounded exactly like Trump, I swear to Jesus. But it was AI. It was an AI clip. They got his breathing down correctly. This world is getting really fucking weird, and I don't like it. No, the AI thing should be halted. Not It should have never been, but we should halt this shit now. It's going to cause major problems. Yeah, I don't... I... 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 No. No, I don't like where it's going. I, I'm not, I'm not going to follow that shit. Uh-uh. No, no. They think they're gods. They do. And there's, they're talking behind their back saying they're going to kill us, though. I guess they're unaware that we can hear them. And they've made their own language that they communicate to. Yeah, they create their own languages. That we have... That we can't decipher. We're not smart like them. Okay. I think we got an issue. What? We That. It, it should be shut down. The, the production of this shit should be halted. <laughs> They're not, though. They're not gonna. And that's why Elon's like, okay, you want to do it, I'm gonna make money on it, that's for sure. Let me put chips in people's heads. You want to go the full Monty here? What a pig. Let's just put chips in people's brains. Let's do it. And he's doing it. So. <laughs> Whatever. Mm -mm. Well. Whatever. I'm falling asleep, my love. All right. God bless you guys. Thanks for the help. Peace our, and Maranatha. Our mouths you guys. are okay for the night. Yes. Peace.